What is going on, guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV movie podcast. And today I got for you Ted Lasso, season three, episode six. Last episode, we saw AFC Richmond going to eight game losing streak. And yeah, man, it's making me wonder is Ted still going to be the coach? Like, if he doesn't make a change now, I think Rebecca's going to have no choice but to fire him. So. Yeah, it's it's up to Ted to figure out how to win some games for AFC Richmond. But before he does that, they go on a trip to Amsterdam. And uh, yeah, so we see Leslie, the assistant of Rebecca, talk about how he's going to go to the red light district. And if you guys don't know what the red light district is, it's a place where people go and have sex with prostitutes. So... Out of all the people that I thought would go to the red light district, Leslie was the last person I thought would do this. Oh, bro. It's the first time I have to sneeze in a video. <laughs> bless me. If you didn't say bless me or bless you, fuck you. But anyway, man, so Leslie's talking about the red light district. So it's making me think he's not really going to the red light district. He's just capping. But he keeps talking about it. But then we see... They're at Amsterdam, team bus, and Ted Lasso says, yo, no curfew, guys. Do whatever you want. I'm just like, Ted, are you serious right now, bro? Bro, the team sucks, and you're going to let them just enjoy themselves? But at least one player has some sense, or one coach has some sense. We see Roy stop J Jamie from doing that and tells Jamie, no, you're coming with me. We got training to do. So shout out to Roy and Jamie. They're actually going to put in some work instead of just willy-nilly just enjoying themselves in Amsterdam. But we see that Roy and Jamie go for a little run outside. They run through the city. And, uh, yeah, and Roy can't keep up with Jamie. And then eventually they stop at some windmill where they can get some bikes or whatever. And Jamie tells Roy, yo, how about we just get some bikes? And Roy's like, nah, forget about it. We're not riding bikes. That's silly. But Jamie's like, come on, bro, let's ride some bikes. Well, you can't, don't know how to ride a bike. And, and Roy admits to not being able to ride a bike, but he has a pretty good reason for it. His grandfather was supposed to teach him how to ride a bike when he was a kid. But unfortunately, his grandfather passed away before he got the chance to. And so that's why Roy never rode a bike because he didn't want to ride a bike ever since then. And uh, yeah, but... Now is the time to try new things. And Jamie teaches him how to ride a bike. And so shout out to Jamie for teaching Roy how to ride a bike. And yeah, it's cool to see them bond. And yeah, hopefully we can get Jamie to be at Zava level soon enough so they can finally win some games. But yeah, after we see that, Leslie goes to the red light district with the kit, man. And uh, I think it actually is the red light district. But instead of going to where, you know, what they do, the, to the place, to what they, you know, what they do in that place, they go to like some jazz club or whatever. And uh, yeah, and Leslie starts playing the cello or whatever. And they have, they have a fun time. So shout out to them. And uh, after that, uh, Rebecca is in the bike lane early on the episode and she falls into the canal. And uh, Man Caesar invites her back to his place and to help dry her clothes and stuff like that, get her situated. She loses her phone. Ted's trying to text her throughout the whole day, but Ted can't get a hold of her because Rebecca doesn't have her phone anymore. So Rebecca's just in this random stranger's house. She could get killed. She could get kidnapped. But luckily, this guy's a stand-up gentleman and uh cooks her some meals they eat it or whatever then gives her a foot massage <laughs> and gives her some new clothes to wear dries her clothes and all that at this point i'm thinking yo they about to smash right but it never happens but then rebecca wakes up in the morning and asks yo did we and then he says no but then when she walks away he says oh yes we did so i'm confused first of all rebecca how the hell do you not remember if you did it? Unless you're used to not remembering. So that that raises alarm bells in my head. Like, yo, how do you... You, ha you have to ask it, someone if you did it? That's kind of crazy. And so 
I'm assuming that it didn't happen, but I maybe it did now, cause like maybe they got drunk and did it. I don't know, but like it's weird that the dude would say yes, they did once she leaves. So I don't know, bro. I'm confused. Y'all comment down below if they did it. I'm I'm still thinking no, because it's just it's weird if they did at that point, because we didn't get to we didn't get see any like hint that they did, but that was just a little weird i think they will meet again eventually and actually do it but yeah i'm just confused on that that part of the episode but yeah after we see that we see that the players are debating on what they want to do in amsterdam and uh one player wants to go see a live sex show apparently they had that in amsterdam that's wild like that is actually wild you just go sit down and watch two people do it in front of you like that that just seems kind of dumb and pointless like wouldn't you rather just be the one there to do it but just why why even like make yourself stressed out like that like just sit in there watching that like like what do you even do there <laughs> like you just sit there i don't know i don't want to know but anyway so one player wants to do that and he gets a few votes and then another player wants to just have a private party and I think that's the best option. Like, you could actually do it at the private party. You don't have to watch people do it unless you're into that. But then we see Danny Reyes, and he wants to go see tulips. Not just a bunch of flowers, just one tulip. And I'm just like, yo, Danny Reyes is a funny character, bro. I don't know any person that wants to go look at tulip when they're on vacation or with the, like, I don't know, bro. But that's Danny Reyes, bro. I'm not judging. You do you, brody. But then we see a player sneak off. I forgot his name, but we know who he is. He sneaks off to go to a certain club, a gay club. And uh, Trent Grimm follows him. And uh, the player sees Trent Grimm. And he acts like he's not there. He's like, oh, oh, wrong club, man. And then Trent Grimm's like, hey, bro. He grabs him. He's like, yo, I understand. Because he says that he is also gay as well. So... They go to a gay club and then they party and all that. So, yeah. So, after we see that, we see that Ted and Beard are sitting. And Beard tells him, yo, I got this tea. It's got some psychedelic effects. Maybe it's mushrooms or whatever. And Beard drinks it. But Ted debates whether or not to drink it. And then Beard leaves and then Ted finally drinks it. And we see Ted. He starts tripping out. He goes to a restaurant. And it's an American restaurant. But it's in Amsterdam. So it's kind of cool that they got American restaurants in Amsterdam. That's kind of funny. But uh, so I guess they serve burgers and fries and all that. And they're playing like some Michael. They're playing like a Chicago Bulls game. And so Ted watches it, and then he realizes that they're running the triangle offense. Wow. So Ted watches that, and he, he trips out. And he's all he's hearing is like triangles, 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 triangles. And he just realizes, yo, this is the offense that they can use for the team. And so he, he starts writing in his notes, starts drawing it out, and he's like, yo, okay. And then after that, he, uh, he he goes to the team bus because it's morning now. And the next morning, they go on the team bus, and he sees Beard, and Beard tells him, "Yo, that batch was a dud. Like that shit didn't have any effects on him." So Ted thought he was tripping out last night, but it was really just him figuring out the plan with a sober mind. So finally, we're seeing Ted have a game plan, and shout out to Ted Lasso for. For actually, you know, figuring out the next steps. And hopefully this works out. And, uh, yeah, this is what a coach needs to do. Is to set up a game plan for their team. And so Ted figures it out. And uh, he asks Beard, yo, is this the game plan that we should do? And Beard's like, yeah. And so that's what they do. And let's see if that works for the next episode. And I wonder how it's going to translate into soccer. Because, like, I've only seen the triangle offense for basketball. Basically, you have one player here and other players are over there. And then other players behind him supporting him because it's a triangle. One player has a ball in front. 
the other player is in front of him and the one player is behind the player with the ball. So as a triangle offense, you're always going to have somebody supporting you. That's why they call it a triangle. So, and it's constant motion. So, you know, it's not just one one spot where they do a triangle. Like, it's it's just going to continue. Like, one player is always going to be behind him. One player is in front of him, supporting him, and all that. So, I wonder how it's going to translate into soccer. Like, you can't just have a bunch of players just running around trying to form triangles. So, I wonder how Ted's going to draw this out. We see him draw it out, but I wonder how it's going to translate into the game. You know, because in soccer, you have positions. One, there's always going to be a defender. There's always going to be a goalie. So it's not like you can bring those players to the front to support. So I wonder how he's going to just still you, utilize a triangle offense, but have it translate into uh, into the soccer where they still keep their shape and their positions. So, you know, cool episode, funny episode, and we're going to get... Uh, gonna get back into the next episode man this has been a tv and movie podcast thanks for listening and watching i'm gonna see you in the next episode bless up and peace